Good morning and welcome to another week of Thoughts for the Day from the staff of the New River Methodist Circuit here in London. I hope you've had a good weekend. I don't know what you've been doing this weekend, but on Saturday uh, I decided I ought to cut the hedge at the front of our house. It had really become very overgrown. It's quite a, a, a big hedge and uh, when we moved in we inherited a, a very large head trimmer and it's quite heavy and uh, so it takes about two to three hours to cut the hedge to sweep up the, the leaves and, and tidy it all up. So there I was Saturday afternoon in the blazing sun beginning to cut the hedge. I was getting on quite well when suddenly the hedge trimmer started to splutter and I, I went and looked at the plug and made sure it was pushed in properly and, and it started again but then it just died. So I went and I pulled out the plug and checked the extension cable as well but nothing. So I called Myrtle and we looked at this hedge trimmer which uh, was now not working and realised that actually the wires on the plug had pulled themselves loose. There was a disconnect, there was no power and therefore the hedge trimmer couldn't do the job that uh, we wanted it to. And as we've looked at the world in which we live, this nation, the communities where we are, over these last weeks, sadly we see something of a disconnect. Not that wires have come loose, but a disconnect between nations, a distrust, whether it's about the latest 5G provision for mobile phones, whether it's about the suspicion of a nation stealing secrets or wanting to get ahead in the race to find a vaccine. But there's also a disconnect in our communities. As we begin to come out of lockdown, some people want to have rave parties while other people want to remain safe. That disconnect between culture and race, where we have seen how racism is still rife. The disconnect sometimes between younger and older people. The disconnect sometimes between people of different faiths. And during COVID-19, there's been a real disconnect because we've not been able to see our families as we would want to. We still can't embrace this disconnect. If you live in Leicester, you're disconnected from the rest of the country at the moment. And what about my connection with God? Have there been times for you, like for me, over the recent few weeks and months, of feeling a, a disconnect? that my connection, my relationship with God is not as perhaps as good as it should be. So Myrtle went and got a screwdriver because she loves to mess around with those kind of things and we made sure the electricity was off and she sat on the, the front step and she undid the plug and took out the screws and we found the wire that had come loose and, and I just sat and watched my wife repair and suddenly when we plugged it all in the wires were secure the hedge trimmer started again and I could continue to cut the hedge it was able to do the work for which it had been created in John chapter 15 Jesus says abide in me as I abide in you. Jesus invites us to become branches that are connected to the vine and Jesus says that he is the vine and we who believe in him are the branches. He is inviting us to be connected, to reconnect ourselves to him, the source of all life so that perhaps when we are connected to him afresh we can become the people God created us to be and do the work 
which he really wants us to do, of sharing his love and his goodness. And perhaps once we've done that, we can do what God wants us to do as Christians, to bring joy, to bring hope, to bring goodness and kindness, to bring healing. Perhaps we'll never bring healing between the nations of the world, between China and Russia, the United States, Britain, the rest of Europe, parts of Africa or Asia, but perhaps if we just began to reconnect in our own relationships, where there's broken friendships in families, where there is the need for healing. Perhaps this is one of the purposes that God is asking of you and me as we begin to come out of lockdown. Let us make sure that we are connected firmly to Jesus Christ, who is our rock, and let us seek to be reconnected to all people, family, friend, stranger, knowing that in Christ we are all one, we are all connected to the Creator, the Creator of us all. coming back to the heart of worship and gracious God today I want to come back to you I confess that there have been times over these last days and weeks when I have not abided I have not rested in you as I should I have not been connected to the heart of worship I have not been connected as I really need to and want to to the heart of my Father's love. So draw me back, O oh God, to the heart of your love. And gracious God, we pray for a world that is disconnected, disconnected from you and disconnected from each other. We pray for a healing of nations, a building of deeper trust, we pray for a healing of communities where all people will be seen as of equal worth and value. We pray for a healing of this pandemic, that a vaccine may be discovered and may be used for the benefit of all your children. We pray, O oh God, for a healing in our lives where we are disconnected from anyone in our families, 
give us the courage to reach out for healing. Where we are aware of broken friendships that meant so much to us in the past, give us the courage to reach out for forgiveness. And loving God, if for any of us here listening, sharing today, if there is a real disconnect with you, may we know that our sins are forgiven. And gracious God, we offer this day to you that we may be used as the children you have created, used to bring you glory and honour. In the name of Christ our Lord. Amen.